Hi, this is ECM 140. I'm Julian Macatangas. I'm and Mason Lozon. And here is our wood chipper. Here's a basic diagram we have right here. You have your vented reservoir, your intake line filter with a bypass. On our circuit, as you can see here, we don't have filters in place because this is a very short-term circuit and we take it down shortly. But continuing on the diagram, you see our hydraulic pump, our electric motor, and it goes up to the pressure gauge. And the flow meter, generally you want to have it set after your relief valve, but in this wrong I don't. And so it goes from the flow meter down to the relief valve. So usually you have it set to around 200 psi or so, so you're not overloading the circuit. So as you continue down the system, you have your flow control valve, as you can see right here. Now this will control the speed of your motor and you just adjust it on the knob right here. You want to make sure the direction, the arrow listed on here, is going with the system, going with the flow. And here you can see the flow meter right here. You want to put this either before, before the, the adjustment right here or afterwards. You never want to put it near the motor itself as you continue up here, you have your pressure line filter right here with a bypass. You want to make sure you don't put your pressure line filter before your relief valve. Because if you do that and it clogs up, it can cause an explosion and you just made a bomb. <laughs> so as you continue along, you can see, you can adjust it with a lever and it's our bidirectional motor. In this case, we have a piston motor um, and pretty much it's high, high torque, low speed. So generally it's around lower speeds, but for the application of wood chipper, it's excellent. And of course we have our return line, our return line filter along with the bypass, and that goes back to the reservoir. Okay. Now here, we're gonna to go to our circuit over here. We're gonna run it. Now, before you set up, you wanna make sure you deadhead the circuit. You want to unhook it right here, and you want to set it with a set screw down here. But we've already done that. So, you turn it on right here, and then you can set with this lever, it goes both ways, quite right now. So, it's going clockwise, and clockwise, and then clockwise. Now here, you can actually adjust the speed. You see it slowing down more and more. That's your flow control. And it actually goes both ways. So you have to set to your max RPM that you want it set to for the application. Because you don't want it running too fast for wood chicken. And you can just have it set. Put the set screw in here so it can be adjusted. And you have your speed. Alright. And that summarizes our circuit. Have a good day.